Okay, um, so this is area under the curve, uh, but it's an excellence question. The only reason it's an excellence question is because you have two parts of that area. Look, you've got this part here and this part. So some people will do the integration from 0 to 4, which is incorrect. This is incorrect. So you must divide your area into two parts. The first part from 0 to this point and plus the other part from this point, whatever, to 4. Okay, and integrating that bit anyway. Minus 3, just rewriting the equation and that's as well. All right. Now, for this one here, so for this one here, you must uh, first obviously find the x-intercept of this curve. So in your graphic calculator, you can put this here, uh, this equation, and substitute instead of y0 and solve the equation. And you will end up with, um, using graphs, I've had this value is 1. So therefore, 0 to 1, 1 to 4. Now I'll integrate. Again, I'll do my integrating on the side. So I'm preparing my curve to be integrated first. Then I'll integrate, which is x squared over 2 plus 2x3 two, over 2 over 3 over 2 minus 3x. Simplify before I, um, so flipping that around, so I'll have 4x3 over 2 over 2, sorry, over 3 minus 3x. Okay, so done the integration. Now, you can use your graphic calculators. All I need to do in here to write as an evidence, I'll do x squared over 2 plus 4x, 3 over 2 over 3 minus 3x. And then this is from 0 to 1. And I'll do exactly the same in here. One to four. <coughs> Use your graphic calculators to find the answer for this. And if you put it in the graphic calculator, the first one, just trying to figure it out. So this one give me 7 over 6 plus, and the other one um, should give me, and the other one give me 47 over 6, and then adding them um, together and simplify, should get 27 over 3, you should get 9. Okay, just find in the graphic calculator. Um, so I got those values using the graphic calculator. I substituted this in the graphic calculator between 0 to 1 first and got 7 over 6. And then I substituted between 1 to 4 and I got 47 over 6. And then I've just added them there. Please separate them in the graph. You're showing work. You need to show enough work. This is considered actually as an easy excellence question. It came last year. Um, hopefully you'll, this year you'll be lucky enough. It came in 2020. Okay, so this is an excellent level question, area between the two curves. It's excellent level question because the integration, it involves um, trig identities. Okay, you'll have to use trig identities. You'll have, the integration is not a straightforward. But the area itself, how to go about it, it's, it's the same as the achieved and the merit questions. You first, you'll identify your lower boundary and the upper boundary. So the lower boundary is zero because that's where you're starting. And the upper boundary is pi over 2. And now I'm going to the the the, um, the top curve minus the bottom. So the, the top curve is cosine x minus the bottom is cosine 3x dx. Now I will have to integrate that. Now I don't have any trig identity with cosine cube. And um, so therefore I you need to think of factorization. It's usually this. It's if, if you can't find a trig identity, if you can see there is a common factor, try to get that common factor out first. So I have cosine x is my common factor. So 1 minus cosine squared x. And now I know 1 minus cosine squared x as a trig identity is sine squared. And now... I can't use any more trig identities, um, but the, the good one, I'm going to just fix this writing here, so horrible, 0 to pi over 
2 and this is 0 pi over 2 and this is also 0 to pi over 2 and now um, because it's sine square and because it's multiplied by cosine now the cosine is the differentiation of the sine so the, that's a hint for you that you can use the reserved reverse chain rule or substitution so I'm going to use the substitution I'm going to do it in blue in here so u is sine x du over dx is equal cosine x so therefore d d um, x is equal du over cosine x now i will substitute in here so i will have um, cosine x stays the same and instead of sine i will put u square and instead of the dx i will put du over cosine x you can see now the cosines cancel out so that's why left is u squared du integrate that is quite straightforward and now rewriting it as the x so it's sine to the power of 3x over 3 this is my working you notice that i didn't put zero to pi over two because i'm dealing with u not x okay the zero to the power of two, uh, zero to pi over two is actually the x value not the u so now i'm going to i've already done the differentiation so now i will do sine 3x over 3 from zero to pi over two okay and now you can use your graphic calculator to find the answer um in the graphic calculator you can put this straight away that first top part and find the answer in here and the answer is one third so you can see it's the area between two curves it's not hard but this is you know the idea that that, that you will have to factorize and then you strict ratio and then use the substitution is not a straightforward integration and it's not everyone will think about it this way so this one is an excellent level question is the area under the curve it's excellent level because um, not because of integration the integration here is just this function here so it's quite a straightforward integration but um, you will have to find the p-value and then you will have to find this point here then you can integrate define integration so you don't have your lower and upper boundary for the defined integration so first i'll find the p-value because it's easier uh, p is the you can see is the x-intercept of this curve so you will solve the curve so y is equal to zero at p so you will say zero equal to x minus one all to the power of four and that will give me x is half to solve it so p is half zero now this point here this one the upper value it's actually the x-intercept of the gradient okay uh, sorry the x-intercept of the tangent so i need first to find the tangent equation at the tangent of the curve i only given a point i can find the gradient of that tangent just by you know differentiate just normal as differentiation so you differentiate and you substitute the x value from the gradient using gradient and a point you can find the tangent equation so i'm gonna integrate uh, sorry differentiate first times differentiation of the inside so i'll end up with eight and now i'll substitute one so that for the gradient is eight because one minus one all to the power of three is just one now i can use y minus 1 equal 8 x minus 1 to find the equation and that's why the equation of the tangent is 8 x minus 7 now if i substitute uh, y is 0 i can find x so x is i'm taking that to the other side so that's x is 0 oh, sorry y is 0 So 7 over 8. Okay. And then now you can integrate between uh, P is half, the X value, and that's 7 over 8. And integrate 2X minus 1 to the power of 4 with respect to X. So I can integrate now 
5 over 5 and divide by the differentiation of the inside which is 2 so I'll have 2x minus 1 over 10 or to the power of 5 in here and this one is from half to 7 over 8 you can now use your graphic calculator to find the answer and the final answer is 1 over 10 approximately